Hello, it's Sarah, and tonight I'm going to do a Pandora video, guys. I wanted to do an updated, um, I think it's my entire collection, so we'll see. I don't want to make it too long, so let's get started. Um, I got a few things at the, the sale that's going on right now. I think it ends tomorrow, uh, so let's start with that. I needed to replace my... I forget what this is called now, so I'm not real good at the names. Uh, I needed this 18, which is a 7.1 inch in this one. This is a retired bracelet. I got it in the 17, and it was too small, and I gave it to Maya. So this is what Maya has, so we both have the same, which I'm super happy about. And they didn't have it, and then she got it off the display for me in the, in the 7.1 inch. I think it's called Shining Star. I'm not sure, but it has a big star on one side and lots of little stars on the other, and it's a circle, like a round. And then I got, this is my first, This is, I got this for $37 at the sale. And this is my first safety chain. I got the Star and Moon safety chain. I just thought it was super cute, and I wanted to try it. So I've been wearing this just by itself as a silver chain. I've had the Twinkle Twinkle Clip, and then this is just, um, I think it's called um, Sparkling Leaf. I forget. But anyway, so I got this, and I've just been wearing it like that. That I got at the sale. I got another gold essence bead, because I love essence, you guys. I didn't realize I would, but Creativity is the one that started it. So let me pull that aside. Um, I'll show you. This is just, and I don't know the names of them, but I'll come in a little closer so you can at least see them. Uh, this is the 7.1 beaded um, essence bracelet. And so I just did gold. I got this one, which I forget what it's called. Sensitivity, I think. Yeah, this is Sensitivity. I got that one and this one, and that finishes this one out today. And this one, I think, is called... I have a little magnifying glass. Happiness. So anyway, I got gold, pink, the mosaic, gold, pink. I love this one too. They have a lot of colors of these. These are really pretty. Um, this is joy, I think. I don't know. And then pink. And then this is creativity. This one started it all. But when it's a sale, it's a really good time to get these. This is 50% off. So you can't do better. You know what I mean? I don't. You rarely get 50% off. So, um, creativity, and I think this is called friendship. And this is this one is one of my favorite beads of. All. I have the um, geometric facets in the opalescent in the um, moments bracelet too, and I just love it. And then this one is. Let's see what this one's called. Hope. This has just like gold prongs, but it's kind of like a white opalescent stone in there. And I wear this pretty much with my watch every day. I either I wear one or the other of my essence bracelets because they're lighter, small, like lighter, less bulky bracelets. And I love beads and always have. So this is just, but that's done. I think I have nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beads on a 7.1 inch, and it and it fits great on my wrist. Then the other one I did with a black and blue theme. This is the snake chain version. And so I have the black spinel, silver, blue. This one I just got. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. I lied. A lot of these I get at, um, I'm sorry, on eBay too or at the outlet. So if they're retired, it's because I just get them from eBay and the outlet. But I forget what this one's called patience but it's like a bluish opalescent faceted isn't that so pretty i love them this is balance and this is balance this is the yin yang and this is just like a, a blue mosaic yin yang i mean um balance this is friendship i think and it's the same as creativity it's just in the silver version i got this one so i got three essence beads and this bracelet and this uh, safety chain. Um, but look at the pretty blue. This is Friendship, I believe. Let's see. Yep, Friendship. 
and then silver, blue, I think that's loyalty. Did I already say loyalty? Sometimes I, yep, loyalty. And then spirituality, I think. So I love essence. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine on a seven point one fit me really nice. And I love them both equally. Like, I mean, like I said, I usually wear one or the other with my watch. Um, I don't tend to stack them with the moments bracelet at the moment, but um, I will wear this one. Now, this is my first one I ever had because I thought I could get this in the smaller version. So this is probably like, what, a six, a 17, which a 17 is 6.7 inches. And it's just too small. With one or up to three beads, I can do it just fine. And this one's positivity, I'm pretty sure. This is like a limon quartz, I think. Optimism. So um, I know there's a purple. There's other color beads. So um, I'll still collect them, I think. But for right now, I feel like I'm, I'm good. But I wear this one. This is what I've been wearing today. Today I had this on. These two. And they're perfect to stack. So the beaded um, chain and the nice moment snake chain go together. Perfect. And I just had these spacers. I have the Twinkle Twinkle spacer. I told you that. All right. So, but I wanted to show you. So this, I did a share on this early on. Now listen, I've only been collecting for a year. This is the um, Moments Poetic Blooms. I got this at Jared originally and in the 7.5 size, which is a 19, I think. Yeah. And it was too big. So I went and got another one in the 7.1. So I still have my, my bigger one. But I just like the way this fits me much better. So let me show you what I did. So I, in the beginning, I had a bunch of Muranos on here. I think I had four pink Muranos. But I needed to put other beads on. Like other beads would come out that I wanted. So Or I just wanted to change it around. So I have one Murano on here now. But let me see if I can go in a tiny bit closer. Oh, yay. All right. I've shared this before, so I'll go quick. And I don't know the names. I have the heart spacer, and I like the way that covers this, the threads. This is the fairy, and it's an open work speed. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these came out in the spring when this bracelet came out because they do go with it, but it's also because I love them. Like, I just love them. So there's a little fairy, and there's daisies like the one on the clasp, and little um, enameled butterflies. So that's super cute. This is the Home Sweet Home charm. It says Home Sweet Home on the bottom. It's just a house, but I love home. The palette. When I, when I first collected Pandora years ago, they didn't have a palette, and I had one from Camilla Beads. But they have the palette dangle, and this is now retired, but I had to have that. And here's that geometric facets I was talking about that has the, op the pink opalescence. I mean, they should just, I mean, come on. I can't. That's too gorge. The to take a break to go cup. There's a white, I'm sorry, a pink enamel heart on the front. And then on the back, it just says Pandora with the little Pandora symbol. But I'm a coffee addict. I love coffee. So um, I just got these two. Not this, I think it was maybe the beginning of the sale or it was for Christmas. I went to, so I, I've been going for the last month off and on when I got my Christmas money I went then um, for the sale I went so anyway I got two of these and that's usually I don't put two of the same thing on a bracelet I like symmetry but I don't do it by getting the same bead because I like to have as many different beads as I can um, but these are these are a pretty old clip too so I got these for a bargain like I think these were $16 a piece so I got two and I loved it because it has that little touch of um, gold on there. It's actually a two-tone clip because I put another, I put a two-tone bead on here too. So, but anyway, this one's a button charm. It has butterflies cut out on the side and it has a dragonfly, which I love. The little, um, I think it's like an apple blossom. It's a white enamel flower, the daisy with the CZs, and then a, a pink butterfly. So it ties in to this, to the fairy one and, um, I just love it. I love all, these are my favorites. They're all my favorites. That's why they're on here. This is the Murano that I decided to go with, the white uh, apple blossom. 
possibly I'm not sure but it just has a pink light color pink so it plays right right into it with a white core I have a um, the peace sign which was on my original bracelet I had years ago and it has the the pink CZs so it plays and I only have three dangles on here at the moment I think I'm gonna keep it that way although I do love dangles um, I just think this bracelet is done I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this bracelet I also have the original angel because they came out with a new angel that has a um, a gold halo a two-tone angel and I like her so she might have because I do have room on my two-tone bracelet she might have to go on here we'll see because I love angels they're just I've always loved angels. Um, this is called Dragonfly Meadow. One of my very first purchases um, when I started collecting again. I just love dragonflies and um, it's just an open works charm. So I have the two, the fairy and that gives it symmetry, see? So I, I'll show you it all in, you know, you'll see it in a minute. The other clip, then I just, this is what just finished it. I took this fairy and this finished it. This one I took from my two-tone bracelet. She's the dangle fairy that has a gold belly. She has a gold heart in her belly. Um, I had her on my original bracelet too. She's got little wings and little legs and feet. Um, but she, because she has that gold, I thought that it played nice with these clips. And then the cupcake because I love cakes and it also just goes with the to-go mug too. That all that pink enamel and those CZs. Um, I just thought it was the perfect choice to go on here. I think that's still available. First I thought it was retired, but I think it is still available. Um, but yeah, anything that's retired on here I probably got at the outlet or eBay. But a lot of them are still available, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one is, I don't remember the name, but it has a pink CZ inside and then it has those CZ daisies and then there's just like bead work all around there's a little bead trim around it it has heart cutouts on the side this is I think called a daisy spacer but I know that there's a daisy spacer like this too that I don't have but it has the CZ daisies on it just white enamel and then this is a retired love all around I think and I have the hope bead of this too and I think there's a peace one too but I put the love one here for now. And then this is actually a clip because if you don't put a clip or something with threads on the end, your beads will just come off when you take off your bracelet. So I got that specifically to put because I was tired of um, making sure I always, I couldn't design the bracelet the way I wanted to because I was always making sure I had a, um, a threaded bead at the end and I love this clip this is I think hearts abundant hearts or something like that it has pink CZ hearts and little CZ's two little clear CZ's in there too but it's a clip so I just clip it at the end and now my beads won't fall off and see I'll show you the symmetry then so I have the, the hearts are right up against the clasp and then, well, it doesn't, I don't know if that's the best way to see it. Let me go up. But I I really think it, it maybe I should open it. I don't want to take too long, but I think it's pretty good the way it hangs and lays. Because I've got, like, the two open works, two button charms, a couple of gold charms, um, a couple of spacers and dangles. I just think it looks perfect. I can't help it. I love it. And I still have all those Muranos, but I think this is going to stay like this. It's full. I don't think I want to put anything else on here. I mean, even a safety chain, I thought about it. I thought I could probably put that, um, the moon and star safety chain. It would probably look pretty, but I like it like this. So I'm going to stick with it like that. All right, here's my two-tone. The only thing about this is I um, took off my fairy dangle. So if you look at it, I haven't replaced that yet. It kind of went right here. So I have five, I think. Oh, well, not counting this. One, two, three, four, 
five. Yeah, five dangles. So there would have been one more kind of like right here. The fairy was right here. Um, and I mean, it's pretty full. I think I can fit, like I said, one more. And I think I, I'm kind of thinking maybe two more. I could fit two more depending. If I get a dangle, we'll see. But I think I want the little frog, the crown prince frog. He has a gold crown. Um, so I've been eyeing that one, but I'm not sure of any other ones. I have no plans to get one at the moment, but let me just go through this really quick. It really, I don't know if it's changed since I shared it. Um, I might have just added the key, the lock and key. I forget. All right, so this heart I love. This was one of my first purchases. I think I got it Christmas last year at the outlet. I have the two-tone clasp, the button clasp two-tone. This is the little seashell, and there's two versions of this. One has a silver um, starfish, but this has the gold starfish. This is the little, uh, I don't know what they're called, guys, but it's a heart dangle. I love this. I got this for a pretty good price at the outlet. This is the little bumblebee Murano, and I had to get that because I had the bee skep. This is definitely retired. This is one of the older beads. It has two gold bees on each side. Um, the Family Charm. Definitely got this at the outlet. I don't know if it's retired, but it's weird. Sometimes I think the outlet has things that aren't retired. I don't understand, but um, I love this little charm. It has like alternating hearts. There's gold, silver, gold, silver, gold. So there's couple couple little gold hearts on there. This is the love clip, the script love clip, something like that. Um, that's a fairly old one too, but I think it's still available. This is a two-tone heart dangle. I just liked it. Uh, this is not Cinderella's carriage, but this is um, still a princess carriage. It has a pearl inside the little crown on top, and the I think the little um, frog would go right here next to him. This is where I took, this is where the, um, my fairy went right here. She was hanging right there, right in the middle. Um, I have the blue butterfly Murano on here. I love this. This is one of my faves, too. I love Muranos. They're so pretty. I think this is called the Regal Heart. Just has a crown with a little, um, this one has a clear CZ. The lock and key, and this is a newer, it's actually a pendant. And if you look, this gold does not look the same color. This kind of looks more like the shine color of gold. So I'm not sure this is like, this is probably just overlay. Um, because the, they're not really making any two-tone charms anymore. I haven't really, I mean, this is fairly new, this dangle. So I mean, I don't know, but they've come out with a new line called Shine. That's like, I think it's 18 karat overlay. Um, and they're really pushing that. So I don't, I don't know that they're going to make the two-tone anymore. I don't know. Um, but I, I like the lock and key. I, I like lock and keys from doing mixed media and everything. They're really big. I got, this is the braided heart clip, I think. It has just like two big gold hearts on either side. It's a clip. And then this one, I just loved it because it has a lot of gold presents on it, but I don't really know what it's called. It looks like um, stitching to me. <laughs> Pretty chunky silver charm. It looks old school. Like, I like the older beads, too. So a lot of these are definitely from um, eBay. This is a fairly new one, and this definitely is two-tone. It probably came out with this. It came out the same time that the bracelet came out, which I think it's only like a couple years, maybe 2017, I think that came out. Um, then this one I got at the outlet. This is an older bead, but look how many gold stars there are on there. Big ones, like one, two, three, three, three big gold stars. I mean, really chunky silver charm too. Uh, I just love this Murano. Look, in between, in the center of each little daisy there's like a, a bling in there I don't know how they do it and then there's just green leaves I just love it and then this is a lock and a key and the key the dangly key is gold 
the little gold key. But like I said, I mean, I don't have a um, safety chain or a clip on the end of here. I just have a threaded bead. So I really should probably either get a clip or some, a safety chain can still unscrew off here, but I think they have um, safety chain cl um, clip, safety chains, like certain, anyway. Um, but like I said, this is pretty much done for now. And I'll, I, I think I'm gonna, I have that frog on my wish list because I can still fit a couple more on here. I wore this all summer though. I've been wearing the silver or my essence more and then I was just wearing, this is my Christmas, these are my Christmas beads. This is the um, unique, I think, unique as you are is the engraving bangle from last Christmas or it might even be from two Christmases ago because I got this last Christmas at the outlet so it might be from two Christmases ago and but I did get a few beads this Christmas so let me show you what I got I got the Murano this is like the holly berry and leaves Murano uh, this is a letter to Santa it says to Santa North Pole and I've been good on the back this is a stocking with I think it has like a uh, candy cane and a present sticking out the top. Jared has this one as a Jared exclusive where it's like all red CZs all around it. This is Santa. I got him last year. So cute. And I got the puppy last year too. I got both of these guys last year. The little doggy with the Santa hat. Because we have doggies. But I got Mrs. Santa this year she's so cute I wish I could really show the detail she's holding a gingerbread cookie she has glasses on a bun a little heart on her apron little feet an enamel bow in the back little she's so cute so cute and a Christmas tree I got these two this year I like they I think they have three Christmas trees but this was my favorite. I, I don't know. I mean, I just like color. And this has, looks like red, green, and clear CZs. And then there's a gold star on top of it. So I got that. I had this one from last year. This is a little, I think they have like three of these bald um, ornament dangles. One has a reindeer. One says Merry Christmas. So I only have this one with the snowflakes. This is last year's. Rockets charm. I love the color of that gold. I'm sorry, the red enameling. So pretty. So I got that this year. So there's a new one that came out this year, but this is from last year. Um, so I'm like a year behind because I get a lot of stuff at the outlet. Um, and I, th oh, and then the last one is my little snowman. And they have, I think, two snowmen out. This one is the um, enameled one, which I liked him. His hat's just on like little sideways and I like enameling I just think it's pretty and a lot of the Christmas ones have enameling Santa's enamel is kind of weird it's like a different color red and it's like rubbed off it's like grunge he's a grunge Santa you know like see the difference of this nice bright red enamel it's just different but that's my Christmas beads and then I did get the double decker I don't I never shared that but I found out I went to um, ancestry.com well we didn't go we sent our DNA and I'm English I'm English and Welsh and a little bit of Irish um, so I've been on double decker buses I've been to London a couple different times and this represents my culture it's just reminding me of my Englishness and I just love this Murano, so gorge. Um, so those two are on my pink leather, and then I have the blue leather, and I have the rainbow charm, the rainbow dangle. I think this came out last summer. I love it. It's so pretty. And I, because I do love color, I could see myself just making a colorful bracelet with all colors. I don't know. I, I like themes more based on design, not like... I don't know. Anywho, and then this charm is so gorgeous, which I was actually thinking I might keep this one all just clear CZ bling, like type either all silver 
like no color and this would go perfect it's got a big dog hair in the middle of it <laughs> I don't know I got I'll get it it's stuck under but there's a dragonfly right here a little beaded daisy right there and a ladybug right there and I love it and then the sides like filigree cut out of flowers and a dragonfly it's so intricate I had to have that one and you can actually see the bracelet through it the color of the bracelet shows through so I have two leathers and I think I did this pretty quick I'm so proud of myself the, oh God. the only thing I have is these are just my charms that I'm not wearing that I don't really have a bracelet per se I have this pink CZ bracelet and I have here's the hope charm I'll go down but I think these are just ones that they didn't win they didn't win out when it came to putting them on a bracelet and I love the red robin see he might have to go on this one too I love him because I have birds so he's representing there's a plain bird that I had when I first had Pandora years ago and then I also have this bird this is the dove peace dove dangle um, the fairy on the um, mushroom this is I forget what kind of flower there's either apple blossoms I don't know but it has a little dangle daisy underneath it's pretty chunky this is just a sil uh, silver and pink CZ this is just a blinged out heart with pave clear and then the very very pinky red heart in the middle this one I meant I mean to give to Maya because I think this is a um, I think it's from Frozen I think it's Anna's crown I don't know does it have Disney I'm gonna look hold on Pandora yeah I think it says Disney on there OMG it's really hard to see because it's tiny but I think I'll look at it off camera and then I just have this uh, pave stars and then this is a spacer so that's it that's it you guys so I just wanted to give you an updated look I enjoyed the sales but these are my this is my faves I love the essence so much I would get another one like I think I'll have all the essence beads at some point because I just love them I don't know why and um, this guy this has all my faves I was wearing this one too today tonight we went to dinner I took these off all right hope you guys enjoyed happy new year